Hey there, everybody. We are on the Deep City. This city does go pretty deep, and I did do some pre-search for this level. This is the level where you have to jump over this giant wall right here, right at the beginning. It is a very demanding jump, but, uh, yeah, and you gotta get at least halfway over the wall, or pretty much everything down here is a red herring. I'm, uh, pretty sure of that, but you do get a lot of space to make this jump, so... Wow, that was, that was pretty redonk. But I seem to be breaching the water correctly. I'm just getting too far away. But uh, hopefully this jump will only take about a minute or so to pull off. Because, hmm, crap. I'm getting way too far away when I do my jumps. Dang it. But somebody was saying in a comment, I believe it was JMF Spike was, or maybe it was Glitch Method. It was somebody was asking me uh, how I can play this game without getting so pissed off at it. Because there are a lot of people who have confessed that they would have given up on this game by the point that I did. And there are a few reasons for it. Uh, one thing you got to keep in mind is that I'm doing a lot of editing. There is a bit of aimless wandering in some levels, and uh, a large chunk of that is edited out, you know, just to streamline things and make sure you're not sitting here for, you know, 45 minutes watching an episode of, of, a, uh, of a video. Another part of it is... Uh, is that I really, really am trying to like this game. Not bad. That that only took about a minute or so. Now we got room to explore. But, uh, yeah, another part of it is that I'm trying... I, for whatever reason, I have some kind of connection to this game that I cannot deny. And I, I'm trying really hard to give it a chance because I'm also interested in the plot. I'm uh, interested both in kind of the brutal way that it depicts nature... Uh, which very few games do so unabashedly as this one seems to. And then I'm also... Also, I'm really interested in how games of this nature nature, ha ha ha, also, also tend to get kind of a... Uh, they tend to get kind of weird about a third, a third of the way to halfway in. And, you know, this game is obviously going to be doling out the weirdness in spades, so I'm not too... Whoa, hey... I'm not too... So this game is definitely delivering on that front, and it's going to continue to if what I know about it is true. So so I am really just super inclined to give this game a chance. And there are times when I've called this game cruel. Um, definitely parts that are cruel to a first-timer playing the game, but I don't know that it's cruel so much as uh, probably a better word I would say would be demanding. I mean, you get infinite lives. Is this just a chance? Do I gotta jump over this wall too? Whoa, hey, you're... Okay, yeah, that is an invincibility statue. Some of those don't do anything. But, uh, is there, like, a secret passage up there that I can jump through? Don't tell me I gotta make this crazy jump too. Those things regenerate like the proverbial boss. No, there's probably nothing over here. This is probably just... An invincibility statue that isn't going to work out for me. So let's get on over. This is probably really the only way we need to go. See, it's it's a process of elimination. Really, you don't have more than two paths at a time that you can take in this game. So, a lot of jellyfish in this level. So, one turns out to be a dead end. You just take the other one. And that's kind of how that goes. Yeah, that's just the other side of that whole schwimmel. But yeah, this game is not uh, too terrible, I would say. If you uh, if you are willing to understand it and give it a chance, uh, then I would say it's not too frustrating a game, actually. Obviously, we're going to be... Yeah. Hey, that puffer actually degenerated. How about that? Yeah, that's... Yeah, see, like that was pretty obvious that that was going to be a barrier glyph. Like, this game makes you do things that... I mean, are are understandable, but not often just terribly terrible. Like, I'm used to this by this point, so I'm really not too worried about it. Although I should know by now that I need to touch key glyphs, not... Alright, hopefully that won't uh, regenerate. And I have to do this whole mess again. What I really need to do is get me up to some air. There we go. Top off and then go back down. So am I going to be punished for trying to get air? Maybe, maybe not, we'll see, I guess. Yes, I was so punished, but that's probably because there's an air pocket up ahead. If I had been a little more willing to explore, I probably would have found it. Now, stuff like that gets pretty aggravating with the degenerating. I'm not going to lie, this game does do some things that uh, 
I find really just unappealing on many levels, but... Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do this now. If it will let me nudge it over without uh, actually... Oh god, I'm running out of air at a pretty fast rate here, so I need to get on moving down. There we go. Alright, let's get to... Hopefully, yeah, maybe, hopefully, there's also some health here. Oh, no, there's this thing. So, yeah, I should have just gone on. So, see, it's it's not a big deal, especially if you're willing to uh, do some explorative type stuff. And uh, if, you're, if you're willing to get your feet a little wet, then uh, really this game is not so terrible. Uh, anything in here that I need to know about? See, I don't even use this map feature a whole lot either. That's definitely something that I could be doing to uh, help myself out. But I'm I'm more of just the wander around type because, I don't know, that's just the way I am, the way I do things. So, see, these puffer fish have generally been what annoys me so far. If I could uh, get out my death sonar there and uh, not have to deal with them so much. Yeah, I would say probably the regeneration of certain enemies is probably, th bar none, the most annoying thing about this game. I'm just going to try to swim around some dudes and maybe get lucky with a thing. Golly, this is awful. And I don't think I found an air pocket too recently either. Yeah, that might be, see, that might be one of those parts where I have to just, you know, get that invincibility statue and then power through. We'll just have to see about it. Maybe that's another example of this game being quote-unquote cruel, but also, you know, just demanding. See, like now, I know that I pretty much have to hit this thing, and then, well, I was going to haul ass, but, to Lollapalooza. But now I'm just going to kind of wait around and wait for it to run out, and then I'm going to shoot it again, and I am going to plow that C button. See, that was a nice little jump, and now I know that I basically don't have much time to get from here to... Oh, crap. It was somewhere up here. Oh, crap. See? That's the thing. You get stuck too easily. You don't move quickly enough, and we've also got these uh, crystal things moving around, and I am just getting marauded, aren't I? But it seems like they're just falling, so... Not actually moving up and down... So yeah, that wasn't too horrible, but yeah, this you just basically don't know when things are coming. And it's just like any other game, except it's a little more, I guess, uh, claustrophobic would be a good word. See, there's another, they're kind of like checkpoints in a sense. But now I got to avoid currents and stuff, while also somehow magically finding a block that I'll need to push somewhere. And I appear to be very sort of stuck. Duck. Wow, boy, that current is singularly unforgiving. But I guess I'm somehow getting air from this whole ordeal because I am not losing oxygen. Well, yeah, okay, there we go. Now I am, but... Okay, can I, uh, can I get out of this... Wow, this is like... This is a death current almost. This is... You get in here, there's no way out. Oh, yeah, this is that sort of thing where you gotta mash C and B. No. No amount of mashing is going to get me out of here, it looks like. It looks like I have done a very bad thing. Some Wow. Boy. No forgiveness at all whatsoever. And you can't get around the corner like that, lest you even attempt such a thing. No. This game does not think so. And somehow I made it out alive. No! I'm trying to get back to the statue! No! Boy, that's frustrating. I guess I could make it out with the help of this block thing, but I don't see that happening. Well, I guess I'm just going to die here then. See, that's, you'll learn. That's another thing. Just, I guess, depending on how much you want to live and learn, what your threshold for that sort of thing is. There's the rub. I. Alright, now that I know to be careful... Okay, well, nominally no to be careful anyway. I know that I can hit this thing and then... Oh, hello, you. Passage, what's up? Didn't notice you before. What's down the way? Let me through, game. Don't even do this to me. Game... Well, I know there's something down there anyway, so let's check it out. 
And let's nose the block on over way wide so that we know just like, you know, just... <laughs> oh yeah, I'm invincible. What am I doing charging jellyfish? That is really silly. Ah-ha-ha! -ha! See, if we hadn't got ahead of ourselves the last time, maybe we wouldn't have done such a dumb thing and we would have found this and been merrily on our way. Who even knows? So, actually, yeah, I can't afford to go up here now. And let's see if we can't power past that freaking current. <laughs> wow, okay, that wasn't too bad. I still even have some of my invincibility left. So, let's not get tricked into background details by jellyfish. Come on, jellyfish. Shing! Shit! Okay, so I'm stuck here, aren't I? Alright, well... Puffer, I don't even have time for your shenanigans, Puffer. Get the... Get the bell out of here, Puffer. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you can come with me if you want, Puffer. I just... I don't even care. God! Well, he hung around. He hung around here. The deep city is his home, and it's gonna be his home. And next time... We're going to move on to the City of Forever. That wasn't too long a level, uh, mostly because I knew to jump over the thing at the beginning. You know, some research is nice sometimes, but I'm mostly trying to figure this out on my own, with my little noggin here. So next time we're going to do the City of Forever, which if I have been informed correctly, I have been led to believe that uh, we will be getting to the time travel element of this game pretty quickly. So that'd be fun. See you guys.